and Barnsley are through as well, beating the one remaining non-league side, Carnarvon. Barnsley are in the red. Barnsley had a healthy respect for Carnarvon and refused to allow them to settle. Consequently, they dominated the game and played some neat approach football. Dobbin created an opening here, but his cross was well cleared under pressure. Barnsley are playing with a lot of confidence these days. A lovely left-wing cross, nodded on again by Dobbin, finds fullback Hedworth unattended. His lob hits the bar, and Clark's ten-yard effort is brilliantly cleared by Wilson off the line. Carnarvon's raids were collector's items, but also dangerous. This cross would have been a beauty had there been anyone there to receive it. But the 8,000 crowd were impressed by Carnarvon's determination and skill. Here's their best effort coming up. Lovely control to set up half a chance for Austin Salmon and bad luck at the far post. A bad mistake by Williams from Agnew's free kick gave Barnsley their best chance just before half-time. Gray missing a sitter. But early in the second half, Barnes is scored, and this takes some beating. Gray finds Clark down the left. Clark's cross is absolutely perfect for this finish by Roger Wilde, a gem of a goal. And don't worry, Roger, it definitely is in. A lot of people have been impressed by Carnarvon keeper Hughes, and this is why another fine save coming up. But there was no way through Barnes's defence last night, and a good example of that coming up as well. Craven, a very skillful player, tried everything here, but it's Roger Wilde who comes in with the tackle. And right at the end, Gwyn Thomas was desperately unlucky not to make it 2-0 for Barnsley, with a superb 20-yard shot which hit the post. 